The Tajiks are an Iranian-speaking people of Central Asia, mainly found in Tajikistan, eastern Uzbekistan, and northern Afghanistan. They are among the region's most ancient populations, descending from the eastern Iranian peoples of antiquity, particularly the Sogdians and Bactrians. Their language, Tajik, is a Persian dialect, linking them culturally and linguistically to the wider Persian world. The ancestral Tajik lands once hosted two great civilizations, Bactria and Sogdiana. Bactria, centered on modern Balkh in northern Afghanistan, flourished as a wealthy kingdom and trading hub from the 2nd millennium BCE, later becoming part of the Achaemenid and Greco-Bactrian realms. Sogdiana, with its famed cities of Samarkand and Bokhara, thrived as a crossroads of the Silk Road, shaping the commerce and culture of Central Asia. In the medieval era, these regions became bastions of Persian learning and art. Under the Samanid dynasty, from 9th to 10th centuries AD, with its capital at Bokhara, Persian culture experienced a golden age that cemented the Tajik identity. This period of Persianization explains why modern Tajiks speak a Western Iranian tongue, unlike their Eastern Iranian ancestors, the Sogdians and Bactrians. For this video, I've prepared the raw genomes of 12 ethnic Tajiks from the Human Origins dataset. I used my tools, such as Trait Predictor and Mageplot, and academic tools, such as Admixtels 1 and 2, to analyze their genomes. According to this FST chart, computed with Admixtels 2, the closest ethnicities to these Tajiks are Kazan Tatars, followed by Turks, then Uzbeks, Baloch, and Turkmen. The ethnicities furthest from the Tajiks are Denisova, Aboriginal Australians, and South African hunter-gatherers. Here's a Bronze Age admixture chart computed with Admixtels 1. According to this breakdown, a bit over half of Tajik ancestry derives from the Oxa civilization, also known as Bactria Margiana Archaeological Complex. 36% derives from the Sintashta Proto-Indo-Aryans, and a sizable chunk derives from East Asians and Ancestral South Indians. I used an FST matrix generated with Admixtels 1 to construct this phylogenetic tree. As you can see, according to this phylogenetic tree, populations with high East Eurasian contributions form their own cluster separate from everyone else. In the case of Gujarati D and Irala, that East Eurasian component is the ancestral South Indian component, while in the case of Mansi it is Neo-Siberian. The wider West Eurasian cluster is then split into two additional subclusters, one with populations with higher East Eurasian contribution, and another with populations with the lowest East Eurasian contribution. The Tajiks ended up falling in the higher East Eurasian cluster, being tightly grouped with Bashkirs, Turkmen, and Uzbeks. Their more distant relatives include the Brahmin, Pashtun, Low AASI Gujaratis, Brahui, and Baloch. Here's a 2D PCA constructed on the basis of that same FST matrix. As you can see, there are two major clines that can be observed here. First is the West Eurasian, Ancestral Indian Cline. And second is the West Eurasian, Neo-Siberian Cline. As you can see, the Tajiks fall on the Ancestral Indian Cline. Unlike the Turkmen, Uzbeks, and Bashkir, who are quite visibly shifted toward the Neo-Siberian direction. I also utilized my divergent population modeling utensil within Mageplot. What it does, is it ranks all the populations based on how divergent they are, or how different they are from all the other populations in the dataset, and then models the remaining populations as a mixture of those determined to be most divergent. For this plot, I set the divergence threshold as 30%. Meaning, in this plot, 30% of the most divergent populations are used as sources to model the rest. As you can see, the Tajiks can be best modeled as a three-way mix of Vepshan, which comprises 41% of their ancestry, with Brahmin, which comprises 55%, and Sardinian, which comprises 3.7%. The Uzbeks get a similar breakdown, scoring 35% Vepshan, together with 56% Brahmin and 8% West Siberian Mansi. The Russians end up being modeled as 76% Vepshan, together with 5% Brahmin and 18% Sardinian. Let's explore their trait predictor results. The most common Y lineage observed was R1A, a lineage associated with the spread of Sintashta culture. The West Asian lineage J2A was also quite common. The most common predicted phenotype were Alpinid types, such as East Alpinid or Pamarid. Phenotypes such as Vulgid, Turinid, and Canarid are also Alpinid influenced. Most common predicted eye color was light brown, although there were samples with blue predicted eye color as well. Hair colors ranged from black to light brown. No sample was predicted to have kinky hair. Straight and wavy hair were very common. 
Most samples were predicted to have intermediate nose shapes, defined by a roughly equal score for Greek and snub in the calculator. Most samples were predicted to be slightly taller than average, and every sample scored the highest possible score for male pattern baldness, meaning the Tajiks are very predisposed to balding. The Tajiks scored roughly average for odds of Tourette's, average for odds of depression, low for odds of bipolar disorder type 1, and average for odds of autism. The Tajiks had an average predisposition to hemoglobin E disease, average predisposition to Alzheimer's, and very high predisposition for high empathy. Most of these Tajiks are likely not lactase persistent based on their LCT genotype. The Tajiks scored average for odds of atrial fibrillation, high for odds of cardiovascular issues, high for the level of bad LDL cholesterol, and low for the level of good HDL cholesterol. The Tajik scored high for predicted glucose levels and high for odds of type 2 diabetes. The Tajiks did not have a predisposition to syncope and were quite protected from obesity based on their FTO genotypes. The Tajiks were surprisingly highly predisposed to autoimmune disease based on HLA genotypes. This surprised me since HLA risk variants are most common in Europeans and Tajiks are not a European ethnicity. 4 out of 12 samples were predicted to have high risk of autoimmune disease. Not a single sample carried hemochromatosis risk variants. For samples carried risk variants for blue-yellow color blindness, this is a rate much lower than what I've observed in Europeans. Four of the 12 samples carried risk variants for polycythemia vera in the JRK2 gene. Almost every sample carried risk variants for testicular cancer in the KITLG gene, which is typical for Eurasians. The Tajiks had average odds of allergies and the most common blood type among them is O. You can purchase their genomes in 23andMe format from the link in description. Links to my tools and services will also be there.